Hello everyone, welcome back to Call Your Call. Right, so this episode is going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be the new Koi Pond build. So what I did yesterday, I went and got myself a second hand Easy Pond uh, 500Q. So 500 gallons, about two and a half thousand litres or so, is it? 2.2, 2, two point whatever thousand litres. Managed to get it back. It was a bit of a pain. I thought I had a a van to get it in it was about 70 mil too wide to get it in but luckily i had a friend who had a big trailer 6x10 trailer so i popped that on my car picked it up managed to get it home so i'll go and show you what we got right so here we have my new tank it needs a bit of a clean out inside but as you can see it's got a four inch bottom drain fitted nice and solid a couple of scratching on it but there's no chips or anything no cracks or anything like that all it needs is a bit of a scrub pressure washer in there so what i'll do is i'll get the pressure washer out now give it a bit of a clean down and then we'll see how this see how this bad boy turns out all right so i've got my jet wash we've just done a little test run on this little corner here and up there and as you can see, it's boarded up really, really, really nice. So I'll carry on, get the rest of it done, and we'll show you what it's looking like. Right then, have a look at this. Looking as good as new now, this is. Really chuffed with how this has come out. Give it a good pressure wash. And a bit of a scrub. It's looking really, really nice. Alright, so I've still got my new pond here, the easy pond. I think what I'm going to do is pop it down there and I'll show you where it is. Alright, so I'm down my garden now. I think where we're going to put it is somewhere around here. I'm probably going to get a filter and pop it somewhere down my back there and keep the pipes underground and whatever. Again. So here's the main pond, that will be in front of that. We're going to do a patio here at some point. Shed's coming on nicely. Still got a little bit of trim to do around the sides. But it's starting to look a lot, a lot better. Still need to tidy it around here. But we need to work out where that pond's going to go until before we do this. But that pond there is probably going to have some frying bits in it. We may do a bit of breeding next year or something as well. Give this year with a fry a little bit of a trial, see how we get on with them. And then see what we need to change for next year. Right, so we got the tank all cleaned up now. Looking really nice, I'm really chuffed with that. So, originally I got it to use as a quarantine tank. Not really sure what we're going to do with it now. My dad's thinking of putting some fry in it or so. So we'll have to see what we do with it. I was going to put a 210 on it. At the moment, I've got a 210 and a 310. The 310 isn't running. So I was going to swap the 310 with a 210 on the pond and then put a 210 on that tank. But he's on about putting an easy pod on it. If anyone has used one of a tank this size before with an easy pod or anything like that, let us know if that filter is going to be big enough or if I need something else or what you would do with it really. Let me know what you would do with it if you put fry in it or use it as a quarantine tank. Let us know, it, it'll really help. Hopefully this video is going to show a little bit more about what's going to come. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Please check about my other videos on the new Koi Pond build, etc. Alright, thanks for watching, see you on the next one.